um, my director at the studio that I teach in Ottawa. Um, she founded the Chance to Dance Foundation, and she asked me if I wanted to teach classes around Ottawa, um, providing dance to all kinds of children so that it was open to everyone, and I definitely wanted to, and um, she told me that there was uh, kids here that were interested in a hip-hop program, and so I came here. <laughs> it's been really great. Um, definitely made a few relationships with some of the kids. They're great kids. They all really want to be here. Um, they're definitely not taking it for granted, and they have so much fun, and it's great to see them having fun and know that I'm helping them have fun. <laughs> they were so excited and nervous, and, you know, we had some... Um, some stars in dance, some famous dancers there, and so that was definitely very exciting for them. They got to have their makeup professionally done, and they had all the same outfits, and there was professional lighting on the stage, and it was all—it was a very professional show. So I was really excited that they could be a part of that, and like they were all so nervous going backstage, but they did so awesome. They did so well. I was so proud of them. It was really great to see them up on the stage. And I love coming here every week. Um, the kids are all so positive. Like I said, none of them take it for granted. Granted, um, They're all incredibly nice to me. Um, if I do get any attitude, it's done in a second and you know, so it's, it's just such a great program and a lot of really awesome, awesome kids. Excellent. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's been expanding so much. We actually got Tara Jean and Vincent from Say Think You Can Dance to be our spokespeople. So that's now in their bios, which are all over the So You Think You Can Dance website, all over professional dance websites. Um, dance studios across the world know about it now. Um, my friend in Toronto sent me a text message the other day saying, have you heard about the chance to dance? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> I teach for them, you know. So that really just shows how big it's gotten. And I mean, it's, it's very exciting. My, uh, my director is extremely excited about it, as am I. Uh, yeah, it started from basically nothing to something huge. Um, I've noticed, and other people have told me, you know, one of the most important things is to keep yourself busy and keep yourself doing things um, so that you're not just sitting around or, you know, on the computer or watching TV. It's, it's so important to get out there and do stuff. And when doing that means taking out loans and <laughs> things like that. It's just ridiculous. So it's great that there's programs here that the kids can come to and not have to worry about the funds and not have to worry about, you know, mom and dad saying, oh, it's too much money and things like that. So I think it's, it's really great. Thank you. Dad, it's fun. Excellent. Thank you. Well, we started in September and we come every Tuesday and it's just kind of a way to like have something to do and look forward to Tuesdays because we all like love our teacher and love learning dances and it's just a way to kind of like have something to do you know like um, not have to be like running the streets or anything like that and it's just it's really fun. For me I love dance personally so coming to hip hop it's just one less class that I like I have to take outside like far from my community. So I guess it's really close to and it's fun and it's just a great experience. It was really nerve wracking. Like I was really nervous when we were doing it, but it was really fun because we got like our makeup done professionally and we got to just like hang around with everyone there, meet a bunch of new people, Tara Jean and Vincent, like got to spend like a lot of time with them. <laughs> and it was just really incredible. And we got like flowers in the end. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty special from Carol. Yeah, and well, before, previous to the show, when all the classes, when we had to actually learn the dances, it was hard trying to get all the moves perfect, I guess, and cleaning up, I guess, could, you could say it was kind of boring, but it was what needed to be to make the final product, which was, like, really awesome, really amazing, and then just hanging out in the dressing rooms, doing dress rehearsals, meeting everybody, hanging out with the different dance crews at the gala, it was really amazing. Uh. I just want to say like, thank you so much because for adding the hip hop program and giving us such an amazing instructor. We all love Anne incredibly and that's like half the reason that we come to hip hop and because like learning the dances and it's just really amazing that you guys can like give us like all these programs and stuff for us to participate in. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. I'd also like to say thank you because the program especially with the hip hop and is the like the most amazing teacher. It's great to have another another program to be able to participate in. Just it's common. We'd just like to thank you so much for that. 
Oh, yeah. Well, I think we, we started about a year ago, last year, and it went on, and it was really exciting because um, our teacher, coach, is a model, and uh, she was a cheerleader for the 67th, and she's like a professional dancer. And so that was great. We learned a lot of new dances, and we went um, to Center Point Theater to perform in front of lots of people as like a show. And so we were part of it. We were part of the act. And yeah, it was really fun. We enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, it was a lot of work. We were nervous, yeah. Um, on the day of like the dance, um, two people, I forget their names, but they like were participate. they participate on So You Think You Can Dance. And they came and joined us and they like talked to us and we were on the news. And it was hard work preparing the dance. But then we finished it, and it was really good. It was awesome. Oh, it was an awesome experience for Samantha. I mean, um, just getting the, the chance to learn hip hop and learn how to dance by a, an awesome teacher, and uh, being on television and the whole gala, and just she really enjoyed herself. She never had any, you know, a chance to do anything like that before, so we were really proud of her. Well, I mean, I, I would never be able to enroll Samantha and, oh, you want to sit down? Thank you. I would never be able to enroll Samantha in all the courses she takes, so this is a great opportunity, a great chance for her to really learn new skills and learn new things, make new friends. Since she started her, you know, just over the years, her attitude, she's one of the best kids in the neighborhood, and anybody will tell you, you know, how well she's doing. And she's an awesome person, she's a great sister, and she's a good friend to everyone, and I find a lot of that's attributed to the Christie Lake because... You know, our neighborhood may not be the greatest neighborhood in the world, but it's our neighborhood and it's our community. And Samantha, like, er, you know, everybody knows her there. And <sighs> with the Christie Lake, she gets a chance to get out of the neighborhood and get out of the community, get out of there and try different things and just, you know, new things that she wouldn't get a chance to do otherwise if it wasn't taken care of by the Christie Lake. So we're really grateful. And I've, the summer camp, everything, like, she's just really lucky in that sense, you know. Um. One thing that I would say is like that is a really great place, and you learn new things, and everybody welcomes you, and there's and there's great people.